Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Christy. I'm a homeschool mom of three, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a homeschool haul. So today's haul consists of some books, and some games, and some toys, and some hands-on fun for my kids to use during school this year. The first book is Eric Carle's Book of Many Things. This has over 200 first words in it. It's illustrated your typical Eric Carle style and it's full of a bunch of vocabulary words. There's everything from narwhal and walrus and seaweed to airplane, truck, train, things you eat and things that are certain colors. There's opposites. There's like a bunch of really great vocabulary words in here and books like this are really good for language development in toddlers. This next book is such a sweet story and I think every homeschool family should have this one. It's called Mama, Why Am I Homeschooled? And it is, like I said, a sweet story. It's beautifully illustrated and basically answers this question because we've all heard it or will hear it. Why are we homeschooled? Why am I not in school with all of my friends like everyone else? This book does a really great job at giving some really beautiful reasons and really focuses on how connection is the main reason that a lot of us homeschool. And it's super, super sweet. This next book is a book I feel like every family, regardless of race or age, needs in their home. This is called Heart and Soul. The Story of America and African Americans. Like I said, it is beautiful. It has gorgeous artwork in here. The pictures alone are rich and detailed. And I've looked through this a bit already and it already has begun to make me emotional. I feel like it does a really, really great job explaining and exposing the reader to the reasons and the struggles of African Americans and also the successes and why African Americans and a lot of other races are so important to America's history. This book was a recommendation from Tasha over at Tasha Pivots. I believe her African American study is based on this spine and she shared it before and I just think it is a beautiful addition. Whether you do that unit study or not, adding it into your homeschool, adding it into your life, just reading it is so needed. The next few books are some picture books that I picked up that were listed in the early years program that we're using for Isla next year. I just went through that book list and kind of picked out some that I thought would be really great additions to our home library. I didn't get them all. The rest of them we'll get at the library or I will substitute it for a book we already have. Not like really strict on book lists. First one is The Salamander Room. And I haven't read this yet, but it looks like a really, really sweet story of imagination. And it's about a boy who finds a salamander in the woods and imagines the many things he can do to turn his room into a perfect salamander home. Hush, which is kind of like a bedtime story. Over in the Meadow is a old counting song for children and this author made like a story out of it and it's a really, really beautifully illustrated and it looks really, really fun. Brave Irene is a story about a little girl who is a dressmaker's daughter and the dressmaker falls ill and can't deliver a very important dress to the princess. So Irene is a little girl and she volunteers to take the package and has to go through many, many obstacles and perseveres and a lot of challenges to get the dress delivered. And so it's all about perseverance and overcoming obstacles. Swirl by Swirl is all about nature's pattern. I love the illustrations in here. They're very unique and whimsical and it's like a line art technique, which is really fun. The Carrot Seed, this is a very old story. It's very simple, simply illustrated about planting a carrot seed. So my next book is this Julie Andrews collection of poems, songs, 
and lullabies. Now, who doesn't love Julie Andrews? She and her daughter made this collection of poetry and it's got poems and songs from all over the world, all parts of the world and time. And some of the authors in here include Emily Dickinson, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Robert Frost, Nikki Grimes, Mary Ann Hoberman, um, let's see, William Shakespeare, Shel Silverstein. There are so many authors in this and it's illustrated beautifully. The poems cover a wide range of topics. We love poetry in this house and we've really gotten into it in the last couple years just reading poems out loud and I'm really excited to add this to our poetry collection. Another poetry book, but this one's just a little picture book. This is A Stick is an Excellent Thing and it's all poems about celebrating outdoor play. And I got this one because I wanted to get just like a picture book style poetry that I could read with the younger ones that would be a little more engaging. And so this is full of pictures and it's all about, you know, play outside, nature, imagination, and just being a kid. Moving into the, some of the other things that I got. First, kinetic sand. We definitely needed this for this year. This is a match and learn game from Clever Kids. It's all about like numbers and math and it's like a little puzzles where you put the answer and the question cards together. And I actually got this from Five Below. So this game was there and it looks really, really fun. So I actually didn't purchase this recently. This was an Easter gift. However, I think it's worth mentioning because this is from Amazon and if you have a child that's starting to learn to read or spell words, this is a really, really great game to get. This is kind of one of those games where they like have the card and they have to spell out the word with the little blocks. I like this one because they're blocks and not tiles. They're like really chunky wooden blocks and they like have letters on all sides. Um, another thing I like is that you can put the card in here and hide the word so they can't see it and they have to like try to spell it on their own. Or there's a way that you can put the card in here where the word is shown and they can copy it and it teaches them to spell it. So that's really multifunctional. One thing I will say with this, and I think I've seen this with a lot of games like this, is that a couple of the cards, like the fish card in particular, is the one that I found. You can't spell it because the same, the letters that, two of the letters you need are on the same block which is a little weird, um, but I have seen that with other brands of these as well. I think it's just kind of like a quality control issue with these kinds of games. They just like miss it, but if you take the fish card out, because it's not like super important, the rest of them are fine, um, and we Emmett has a lot of fun with this. Next is this here. This is by Motlin Toys, and this is their Alpha tab. So I actually saw Wendy from Plan Prep Prey um, share a version of this. She shared the Picasso tile one that's black. Um, and then when I went to buy that one, because I thought it was the coolest thing ever, I found the white one, which I liked the white look better because they're usually writing on white paper. Um, I just felt like you could just see better. And it also came with um, a free like dry erase practice writing book and some dry erase markers so I thought and it was like the same price so I figured hey better value so on this side it has uppercase letters and it's just a tool to teach them how to write and it has these magnet balls I can't do this one-handed but and you draw up and the magnet balls come up through the holes um, and then you just push them back down when you're done but it teaches them how to write their letters. And one thing that I like about this is you can, like it locks in the line so that they really feel the process of writing the letter, which I think Emmett needs because I think he's not quite understanding that yet. So I thought that this would be something fun to help work on that. The other side has lowercase letters, which was important to me to get one that had both. So this is not one I purchased recently. This was a birthday gift for Isla, and but I really wanted to mention it because I think it's such a cool thing for occupying your toddler while you're trying to do school with your older children. So you have this plastic thing with all of these little pictures and inside there's these little pegs. I'll show you. 
these little button things and they put them in the holes to make the picture. And so there's a lot of ways you can use this. They can just fill it in to make the picture. They can match the colors, the correct colors that they say on there. And Isla really enjoys tinkering with this and it does keep her occupied for quite a while. Next, I got this puzzle set. This is 10 wooden puzzles by Chucklin Roar, which you can get at Target. And I like that they're wooden because I feel like that's so much sturdier than cardboard. And my son, okay, so we don't have a lot of puzzles in our house because the pieces always get lost and we've had little ones around. We've had like the chunky shape puzzles from Melissa and Doug and Isla uses those all the time. And we also have some bigger ones that my daughter works on. We don't really have any in-between ones for Emmett and he's been asking for some puzzles for his own. And so I thought that these looked really great. They seem like they'd be about his, his age. They have some puzzles that are 12 pieces, some that are 24 and some that are 48. And they just have like a bunch of different pictures. And so, yeah, puzzles are always a good idea. This is the Melissa and Doug Magnetic Matching Picture Game. And I got this for Isla, and it's got all these magnetic little pieces and magnetic scenes that they put the pieces on. So how much fun is that? Isla likes magnets and stickers and stuff, so I think that she's going to really like using this. I got this Pattern Play from Mindwear. And I got this with like my older daughter in mind because I feel like she would like to do this. She likes kind of puzzly things like this. And it's got all these wooden pieces, these wooden shapes, and all of these like design configurations that you use these with. And it just looks like a lot of fun. Just something quiet, something to use her brain with. I'm actually excited to do this one myself. Okay, this is the last thing. Meet Harry. He's our squishy human body. This guy is squishy and you can take all of his parts out and put them all back together. And we are actually doing a human body unit from Gather Round this year. And so I promised Lacey since we were doing that, we would get this because she saw this at the store and she thought it was cool. So you can literally take out all of his like organs and everything and put them all back the way that they belong. So I think that this is a really fun educational toy. I love when something's educational but fun. At the same time, who doesn't like squishy things? So we're excited to play with Harry. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I really love watching homeschool hauls because it gives me ideas of things that I want to add to our homeschool. Sometimes too many ideas. But I hope you had fun watching this video. And I'm sure there's going to be a few more hauls before school begins. I still have to get school supplies for our art cart and lots of other things. So. Look out for those, and I'll see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.